Now, let me continue my Latin adventure, obviously, with Cancun and all the beaches that I've been to. Cancun beaches, should we say, have been the one to die for. Absolutely amazing. Now, look, I love how the, should we say, the sun is shining. It's just beautiful weather and the good, you know, my God, Cancun's like a party town. Like, there's so much going on. It's just a great vibe. I absolutely love that. You know, I still remember to this day, one time I just got a taxi, probably like two miles down the beach, and I walked all the way back up the beach to where you know, all the bars are. And I just walked barefoot watching that fan come in. It was in the afternoon, the sun was setting. It was absolutely beautiful. Now, one thing I really remember in Cancun, I appreciate it's quite a touristy destination. I wanted to make sure I didn't lose the kind of Latin vibe. And I really wanted to be part of the culture. So what did I do? I took up salsa dancing. Funny thing was they didn't speak English in the classes. So I had to do it all in Spanish. And my Spanish is nada. I know nothing. They would tell me to do something. Obviously, I I wouldn't understand. I would then watch their feet and about half a second to a second later, I'd actually do it. So there's always a bit of delay between me and the rest of the class and how that works. After a while, I eventually picked up the words. I started to learn it and it was a fantastic experience. And I think I probably did it for like three, four months, two to three nights a week. Absolutely amazing, but really, really enjoyed it. Now, the one thing I will say about Mexico and obviously Cancun as well is the tacos. Absolutely love. Mexican cuisine is amazing. I really enjoyed it. You can literally go anywhere they're doing tacos everywhere all over Mexico pretty much and you get amazing you know corn tortilla you know tacos created I just love eating them and they're so easy so cheap and so amazing now one thing I do really remember obviously down in Cancun was uh, my housemate Fallon an amazing girl from Australia both her and I we, we grabbed a car and we went to Chichen Itza and then also went to cenotes which are like kind of caves around the around the, the state. Now for me, swimming in those caves is just a hilarious experience. Alan being an Australian girl, she was just cracking the jokes left, right and center. But the water, you know, it was cool, it wasn't cold, but we had a great time swimming around that cave, talking about, and also I filmed a video there as well. Now if you want to see that video about that trip to the Mayan ruins, Chichen Itza and the Cenotes, check out the link up here. I'll drop that where Fallon and I went for a road trip. Now, recently I went to the USA for a short business trip. And this is, I went to meet a conference, you know, meet, meet Amazon sellers, it was Amazon Lit, and they're doing 50 million a year in sales, which is like next level Amazon selling. I've learned so much from them and I get to meet Eric, part of the trio of Amazon Lit. And that was great just to learn, you know, from millionaire sellers, having a beer from them, drinking in the, you know, the brewing company, you know, the bar we were in, absolutely amazing. But also as well, I got a chance to network with so many other sellers. And that was an absolutely amazing experience, not just meeting Amazon Lit, but also as well, meeting other Amazon sellers. I went to the Proven Conference after that. That was in Tampa, Florida, because it was in Houston before. During that Proven Conference, that was the time that I broke the one million pound in 12 months or a year, which I was like super excited. That was a challenge we'd set ourselves. I thought I'd do it in 18, but my God, we did it in 12. That was absolutely crazy. Now, one thing I really remember from that trip, that was a chance to have a go in Eric's insane car. This thing's got three wheels. It's just weird. It was super fast, but absolutely love that. So Eric, Thank you so much for that, that experience. Now, if you're asking me where I'm currently staying right now, well, quite simply, right now I am in Mexico City. Now, I'm going to be here for a while. Why? Well, I booked a month in an Airbnb and I, within three weeks, I said, I am staying here. This is a city of 22 million people, so much culture, and I absolutely love it. I live in an area called Roma Norte, and this place is just beautiful. People here say that this part of Mexico City is more European than even London is. Check it out, Google Roma Norte, it's beautiful and there's so much going on. Now, I love it here, like in my apartment, you can probably see it around me, I've got like beautiful windows. Now on top of that, my taste buds are just exploding with Mexican cuisine. One dish in particular I'm fallen in love with, and it's so bad, is chiaquiles. If I say that correctly, and quite simply, this is a Mexican breakfast dish, which is tortilla chips. They put a nice sauce on top, and I have it with like the green salsa. I have it with all like the, the cheese and the sour cream, and I put chicken on top as well. It's just so bad for you, but it's so amazing. Like I could eat this every day, but I will get very fat. But that is my new favorite dish and I absolutely love it. And I know some really good restaurants around here that do that dish, just incredible. Now also as well, while in Cancun, but also in Mexico City, I had a chance to catch up with Seth Baker and he is an Amazon bookseller in the USA. 
who last year just done half a million in sales. And this year, I think he's going to do a million. He is absolutely smashing it. And I learned a lot from him as well. My God, that has been a massive learning curve. I like being on so many different journeys. And that is me summarizing my trip, my adventure on this digital nomad experience. Now you might be asking the question, how to become, how to be a digital nomad? 